Are you ready this morning, Moo Moo? You are? <laughs> The slide is in and we're ready to go. I didn't have much to do. I just had to um, fasten my bike back down since we took a bike ride yesterday and then lock up the trailer. That was it. We're ready to go, Mama. Ready, Freddy. I'm still doing my lemon water every morning with ginger and cayenne. I'm go ahead and make that before I get on the road. Here's the good health. <sighs> Come on, up front. Good girl, get it, no, go over there. <laughs> good girl. All right, you ready? All right, it is time to go. This was actually not a bad spot. I thought it was going to be a lot louder, but it was, oops, yeah, emergency brakes. It wasn't as loud as I thought it was. Once um, it got nighttime and the traffic really died down, by the time I went to bed it was nothing, so pretty good. I gotta go get gas. I'm at a quarter tank, so. a lot lower than I usually like to get, but... Oh, there was an Excel light. I could have taken that. <laughs> Luckily, the gas station is right when you get to town. I didn't even notice when I was coming in, there was, I think it's a Shell station right on the right-hand side, coming the other way. And it was um, 174, where the other places were 181. So, I'm gonna check that out and see if it's still the lowest in town. That was definitely a beautiful spot. We're coming back into Kingman now. The visitor center is ahead, but I don't think I'm gonna stop there. It's a mile and a half. I'm oh, gonna slow down, it's 35. fuel prices. Oh wow, this Chevron is expensive. Chevron's always expensive for some reason. Two forty nine. That's like more expensive than Lake Havasu, and I see they're really not busy. <laughs> one eighty two at the Mobile. The TNA truck stop is one seventy nine. Oh, it's one seventy eight there at the. Subway gas, that's weird, subway gas station. <laughs> okay, I'll probably just go to T&A. I don't know about that, oh, there it is, 174. Oh, uh, it's like, I don't want to cross over. I'll say five cents, we're going up, but I think T&A has um, propane and I need propane. So, and I don't see propane over there. So I'm just gonna go to this T&A, it's five cents more, but oh well, who cares. And all I see is trucking. There's trucks, trucks, trucks. Oh, there's gas over there. I think I've been to this TNA before. This really reminds me of a TNA that Terry, Scott, and I stayed at. Huh. All right. I don't see the propane. I could. I might have to go back to that one store. Dang it! Because I really need propane. All right. Let's get 
gas. Since we're at a truck stop and there are a lot of people here, I'm gonna go ahead and put the mask on. Oh. And of course, the gloves. Okay, gloves off, everything off. I've cleaned everything. Also, I used some hand sanitizer <laughs> and washed my hands after I was done. So, we're good to go. All right, time to get back on the road. Oh, birds, birds. So, we are going to tractor supply because I have to fill up on propane. I'm gonna get back on the 40. And luckily, uh, tractor supply is near Walmart. Use the left two lanes to turn left onto the I-40 East ramp. And that's where I'm supposed to be meeting Ed and Sue. Donnie's gonna meet us there too. He had to run, run some errands. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-40 East, US 93 South. Will do. at that gas station there for propane. And Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. Oh wow, it's 2.29 here. Maybe I should just go across the street. I don't know which one's easier to get into though. Don't mind paying a little your more. Your destination is on the right. Thank you. I decided to go across the street since it is 30 cents cheaper. I don't know how hard this is my own pull over here. Wow, oh, that parking lot looks pretty sucky. <laughs> Alright, this looks easier to get into. I'll just go here and head over. Wow, they don't make things easy to get into, do they? Yeah, 30 cents cheaper here, so this is where I'm gonna get propane. Why pay more? This should work. Nice. Yeah, that's definitely a lot cheaper than I have been paying. So, I'm glad gas and everything has gone down considerably. Ugh. Okay. So, luckily Walmart's right Take the around next the corner. Right onto Chicago Avenue. Will do. So I've got to go around the block. It's such an awkward place where I was. Glad I got hand sanitizer. I hate when I have to sign things. Take the next right onto LaSalle Street, then turn right onto Detroit Avenue. Oh. We're 
only less than a mile away from Take Wally the next World. Right onto Detroit Avenue. Well, too. <laughs> that's my friend Chris, that's weird. <laughs> In 800 feet, turn left onto Stockton Hill Road. What's up? What are you doing in this part of town? Well, we were at that place up there on the hill. Now I'm going to Walmart to meet Ed and Sue, and then we're going to go to Williams. Oh, yeah. I saw them delivering food. Oh, you're delivering? Yeah. How's work going? This town's pretty slow. Is it slow? But it's got a... I don't know. I can fit at those places up on the hill. Yeah. It's cool that I can just cruise out there. Right. The weather's been shitty in Flagstaff. Right. Okay. Well, someone's behind me. I'm going. I'm headed to Walmart. Okay. We'll go on there okay. Get okay. Okay. I gotta turn up here. <laughs> turn left onto Stockton Hill Road. Continue on Stockton Hill Road for half a mile. Got it. I think it's on. It is on the right hand side. <laughs> Look at that tricycle. Pretty cool. Was it? Oh, it was. Uh, it had a motor on it. I don't know if it was gas or electric. An Arco here as well, and gas is 179 there. Arco is usually the cheapest place to get gas. This town still seems pretty busy. I think this is where I'm supposed to be turning, I think. Oh no, do I go up? Yeah, I still go up a little bit. Oh, I see the sign up there. Well, we made it here to Wally World. Kingman is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was just a really small town, but it seems to be fairly big. Take the next left, then turn right. Let's see, where are they? Are they even here yet? Oh yeah, there they are. Everybody is to the right. There. There's Donnie and there's Sue and Ed. Okay. Let me get parked and I'll see what everybody's up to. Awesome sauce. Chile, 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 chile. We're here, Mumu. Are you excited? No, because we got to get back on the road. At least you get to finish your nap. I know you didn't get to finish your nap. Oh, stretchy. Oh, were you gonna stretch? <laughs> Want to give them kisses? <laughs> You're so sweet. How was y'all's trip? Easy. It was good. It was windy. Windy. Yeah. Yeah, it's very windy. Yeah. It feels nice here today, though. <laughs> yeah. The nice. wind is cold. The wind is cold. Are you feeling? You sweet girl. saying her hello. You sweet girl. <laughs> All right, well, Ed's going to lead, and we're going to check out Flagstaff, well, Williams. Uh, but we might just continue on to Flagstaff, so we're closer to Sedona. And we'll see, I guess. Mimi, you ready? You ready? You ready? Oh, my God. Is the door unlocked? It is. Oh, go inside. Go inside. <laughs> I take my vitamins. I was like, ugh. I accidentally got left behind. Oopsie, I can catch up. Lucky's pretty fast. <laughs> Even towing. Talk about towing, let me go ahead and put my tow haul on. Okay, Google. Directions to Williams. Williams is one hour and 45 minutes from your location by car in light traffic. Oh, I 
guess I should turn on my walkie-talkie. Is it dead? It might be dead. <laughs> I need to charge it. I still got Dave's walkie-talkie. He forgot to get it back for me. Sorry, Dave. I got your walkie-talkie. Okay, channel six. Yep, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can catch up with them. All right, here we go. In a quarter mile, turn left onto the I-40 East, US-93 South ramp to Flagstaff, Phoenix. Will do, I see them. They're just now turning on to I-40. Oh, these lights. Stop these lights, Mimble. <sighs> There's a red light. I always get caught at it. <laughs> what are these people doing? It's not green yet. Alright, we have 109 miles to go till Williams if we decide to stop there. Onward bound. We're about 135 miles away from Flagstaff. It's only, I'd say, 35 miles, 32 miles past Williams, so we might decide to go there. Although, I prefer probably Williams. It's not as cold as Flagstaff. Plus, it's less populated. But we'll see when we get there. There's exit 71, which is 93 South, which heads down to Wickenburg and Phoenix. I heard 93 South was uh, a very tough road, though. Go, lucky go! I caught back up to the group, the caravan. It's going about 70, now I can slow it down a bit. I definitely love having the new rig. Less issues than what I had to deal with, which I didn't have tons of issues with Panda, just the overheating, and I think it was dealing with that cylinder five was no compression. That's why I always had overheating issues with it. But it kept on driving. Ligman is 49, Ash Fork 72, Flagstaff 123. It's nice to be back on the interstate. I haven't really traveled much at like long distances except for when I came down from Washington. Other than that, I've just went short distances from Portside to Yuma, just around the area. Nice to be back on the road. Peacock wash. I wanna see your peacock. Come, come. I love this song. Yep, there's the group in front of me. In front of that rig. And is in the lead. I guess he is kind of slow going up these hills. That's what he said. That's why he wanted to lead. I know the feeling, though. <laughs> and it was the same way. That V8 just didn't have the oomph to get up the hills. I think they have a V10 in theirs, but their rig is bigger than mine. Elevation is 4,000 here. Could go faster, but I'm not going to. This truck is in front of me. 
So Lakeman 42, Williams 84, Flagstaff 116. Okay, well maybe I will go around this track. This tow haul really stays in lower gear. <laughs> Guess it makes it easier to climb the hills. This is pretty. Down we go. Come on, slow folks. <laughs> Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. Love going through mountain passes. I mean, the views. Not so much the stress on the engine. But we're going now. Get some speed up to climb that hill. <laughs> wow, this is one steep climb. There was a bad accident back there. I didn't get a chance to show you, but there was a truck that had slid down the side of the mountain. It was pretty bad. I got this little creek off uh, right here. If you ever want to buy, you can see the water. Oh, there's a creek down there. <laughs> Lula is passed out. Out. <laughs> she is out for the count. I think we're almost to the top. There's three lanes now. Elevation here is 5,000 feet. Ooh, how pretty. Back to two lanes as we've reached the top here. Look at all the boulders up here. I wonder how cold it is outside right now. Alright. The end of the track lane. Time to head down. Nope. Seems like this is just plateaus up here. That's true, that's why it gets colder the closer you get to Flagstaff as you climb in elevation. We're entering Yavapai County. We're about 100 miles away from Flagstaff. I forgot how sucky I-40 gets the closer you get to Flagstaff. Moo moo cows! <laughs> Black and brown. 12 miles from Seligman, 36 from Ashford, and 86 from Flagstaff. I think that snow-covered mountain in the distance is in Flagstaff. ATV! <laughs> go, go, go! Seems like they are repaving the road. As you can see, I-40 can get pretty rough in certain spots. I think they're repaving the other side, though. Uh, we made it to the Seligman area, and it is 5,200 feet elevation. Flagstaff, which is 6,900 feet elevation. So that's how much we have to climb. Mile marker 118. Look, Moo Moo, more cows. <laughs> Moo. So, Seligman is about 100 miles away from the Grand Canyon. And I think it's in the high 50s today here in Seligman. Farmland, prairie land, elk 
crossing sign. We are 30 miles from Williams. Seems like they've repaved this part of I-40. Yay, smooth roads. It's pretty around here. Exit 144, passing Ash Fork, which is about 5,100 feet elevation. This is about 80 miles away from the Grand Canyon, I believe, which I just saw the sign flashing. The Grand Canyon is closed. Which I'm sure places like that that get a lot of tourists are probably closed down. Seems like a lot of these towns around here were founded in the 1800s, later 1800s. Ashworth was founded in 1882. Oh, look, a train up ahead. Eighty-nine south to Prescott. We had thought about going there. That is near Sedona. We're kind of out of the way. There's Prescott Valley as well. I've never been there, but I do want to go. Um, I'll leave it up to you guys. I'd rather stay in Williams than stay in a parking lot like that. Okay, I'm good with that. The car can't be to Williams? What was that? Sounds good. I know of a spot if y'all don't. Okay, I'm gonna go for the spot that's off of Highway 64, north of uh, the interstate. Roger. I think that's the spot that I usually stay in when we go to Williams. We'll see. It's an awesome spot, but I don't know how it is and if it's rained or... I guess we'll find out, won't we? We're not that far, about 15 miles to go. This is where you really climb. It's a steep incline here. Just following behind everybody else. Williams, I guess I'll get in this lane. Williams is 6,000 feet elevation. Climb, climb, climb the mountain. Climbing the mountain, Mimo. Alright, made it over the pass. There's snow in them there, hills. Not much snow, but there's a little snow up on that mountain right there. Oh, look at the forest. All the green trees. I really do like this area. More so Flagstaff. Flagstaff is one of my favorite spots in Arizona. Sedona's pretty too. Elk Crossing, next 65 miles. Wow, look at that view. Get off the next exit. There's three exits to Williams. We are going to take the last one. There's Williams on the right-hand side. Ooh, look at the snow-capped mountain over there. <laughs> nice. Definitely some beautiful views here in Williams. In half a mile, take exit 163 toward Williams Grand Canyon. Alright, here's our exit 165. This is the entrance for the Grand Canyon as well. Going down 64. Okay, I'm pulling out right here. We're going to stop right, right here, right now. We had to make a quick stop. Oh, there goes the snowplow. So Luna could get outside. I'm not sure if she was feeling well or not. Or she had to pee. 
All right, here we go. We're about two and a half miles from the spot. Going on 64 North. Turn left onto Arizona 64 North, West Historic Route 66. Will do. Oh, it's been a while since I've been here. <laughs> Continue on Arizona 64 North for two miles. It's two miles to the turn and then about a half a mile to the camp spot. It's always nice visiting places you've been to. Noticing a lot of water on the ground, so this spot might not work out for us because it can be pretty muddy back here if the ground is too wet. So we'll see. I might not pull all the way in and just let them scope it out. Because if it's muddy, it might be hard to get turned around. It's about a half a mile up the road. Okay. All right, bye. Right. Sue and Ed are going to take their vehicle in and check it out really quickly. Make sure it's all clear. We've got the walkie-talkie on. Okay, we're just going to wait, Moo Moo. See what they say. Yeah, it can get pretty muddy back there. I've, I've been back there before. Usually it's dry, though, when we go back there. How does it seem? Every camp is deep mud. There's a travel trailer stuck here in the mud. I think it's going to be a bust. There's puddles of water everywhere. Yeah, I know, it can get really bad back here if it's wet and rainy. Yeah, I'm going to struggle to find a place to turn them back around and come back out. Roger. Okay, well, I guess we're going to continue on to Flagstaff. That's only, like I said, about 30 miles more, so not a big deal. Good thing that they went and checked it out, because... Yeah, that would have been awful to go back there and get stuck. The only problem with some of these places is when it gets wet, it's not so friendly. <laughs> right, Mumu? <laughs> we don't want no muddy situation and getting stuck. No. No, we don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. No, no, no. Here, hold your hand. Okay. I'll hold your hand. You hungry? Or waiting? You want something? You hungry? Yes? Okay. Alright, I'll go get you something. <laughs> Got Mumu a little snack. Here you go. Good girl, yes. I haven't really had anything besides my lemon water. So it's gonna get potato chips, but no, they're not the healthiest. Look what happens to the bag. <laughs> when you go in higher elevation, it swells up. It actually um, swole up and opened the cabinet door because it was right at the edge of the cabinet door. I guess the higher elevation we got, the more poofier the bag got. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I want to open this. Oh, there it goes. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Potato chips. Mm. Mm. Mm, I'm so hungry. I need to fix something more nutritious than this. All right, there's Sue and Ed. They made it back. Safe and sound, not stuck. Here's some more treats. Mm -hmm. Getting turned around. There's Donnie. So I guess he's... He doesn't have a walkie-talkie, so he doesn't know what's going on. I guess they're telling him now. Yeah, it might be time for coat in <laughs> this higher elevation. I'm sure it's chillier today. 
What are the temps in Williams? Currently in Williams, it's 48 and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 50 and a low of 23. Hmm. Wow, that's a, that's a pretty low low. 23, Moo Moo. We're going to have to cut our furnace on tonight. Well, we're going into Flagstaff, though. I think it's going to be actually colder in Flagstaff. But it'll be fine. It's only one night. Then we're headed to Sedona tomorrow, which is going to be in the 70s. Yay! And 40s at night. So when we get to Flagstaff, do we want to camp in the parking lot of Walmart? Or the parking yeah. lot of uh, Cracker Barrel? Or do we want to go into the, the forest? Um, since it's only one night, I might as well just park. Um, I mean, I don't care. Like, Cracker Barrel would be cool. Okay. Maybe they still have takeout and we can get some food. Yeah, because if we're going to go for the forest, A1 Mountain is going to be muddy. I've Walnut Canyon will be muddy. I've already talked to Jamie and he said it was Yeah, muddy. But if we did want to camp, from the country club exit where we get off the freeway on I-40, uh -huh. it's a 15 minute drive to where we actually are camped at Cinder Hills. We could go camp at Cinder Hills for the night. Oh. If we wanted to do fifteen, an extra half hour of driving is what it would be. Yeah. Do you think it's worth it? Or just wait? If you woke up in the morning and said, gee, I want to stay a second night, <laughs> it would be the right spot. You know what I mean? I know, but it's going to be so cold. That's the well, only it's thing. supposed to warm up there won't tomorrow. Be, there will be no mud. <laughs> right. I know. <laughs> That's the only thing. I don't care. But I'm up for whatever. Y'all just decide. I, I, I could camp at the um, Cracker Barrel or yeah, uh, Cinder here. Hills. And I can cook something to eat later instead of um, same here. seeing if they have takeout. I know Sue doesn't want to camp in the parking lot. But okay, well, that's, that's whatever. Fine. Yeah, I'll just decide. There's no point in driving up to Cinder Hills and back, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's, it's kind of, that's 30 miles out of our way. No, it's not. What? From where we get off the exit of the freeway, uh -huh. it's seven miles to the entrance. Oh, cool truck. Seven miles to the entrance, two miles of dirt road, two miles of dirt road back out, seven miles out, so it's... Oh, okay. So it's about, about, about 16, 16 miles extra. Whatever y'all decide! Okay. Here we go. I'll let Donnie go, and I'll be in the back. Still munching on my Cheetos. <laughs> Hello? Hey, where are we going? We're going to um, Flagstaff, because... It's just too um, wet here. We're gonna. Whereabouts in Flagstaff? I think the Cracker Barrel. Oh, Cracker Barrel, okay. Alright, sounds good. Okay, dokie. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Alright, getting back on I 40 East. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-40 East. Well, the water is almost to the freeway. That's, I think... Yeah, I'm pretty sure the head of the water is at like it's here. No, there's been water in that lake. I've seen it every time coming by. Not this much, though. on both sides of the road. <laughs> There's a nice shot of Humphreys Peak. I believe it's like 12, over 12,000 feet elevation at the top there. You can see all of Arizona on a clear day, they say. It's pretty tall.
here's our exit, 198. Welcome back to Flagstaff. In a quarter mile, turn left onto East Butler Avenue. Will do. Turning on to Butler Avenue. Gas seems to be about 245 here. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto East Lucky Lane. East Lucky Lane. Turn right onto East Lucky Lane. This is it. Gas was 239 at that gas station. In half a mile, turn left. Not sure where they went to. Which is usually where there are RVs parked along the side of the road. I've actually parked here before. And it is right by the interstate, but if you're only going to do it at night, it shouldn't be too bad. Here it is. Oh, I think they pulled in to Cracker Barrel. Okay. Maybe we don't have to park. Walmart is straight ahead. Maybe we don't have to park on the roadside. Open curbside pickup and delivery. Cool. So they do have takeout. Might grab some food. Yep, they're back here. <laughs> I'll park right by the grass so Mumu can get out. Do you want to park in the RV spaces or do you want to turn around and own the grass? Um, I'm just going to do the, because uh, uh, so there's a tree here and then Mumu can pee and okay. stuff. And cool. It's not by the road. I think we're going to own this tonight. <laughs> I know. I don't think anybody's here. Well, except did you notice there are, there are... Actually, I might not fit. There's employees that are in there. Oh, yeah. They're still doing carry out. Yeah. I, am I st I'm out in the road, am I not? No, you're not in the road. Just pull forward a little more. You Don't worry about the parking space next to you. I just need to... Okay. more populated but when we lived here there was nothing here like really you know, unless you wanted to work at a hotel or a restaurant there was like no jobs unless huh. you wanted to be a cop <laughs> well it actually feels really nice it feels like, really nice wonderful like, i mean i thought i thought it was going to be cold but it's not yeah, but I know. I know tonight is going to get cold it's chilly but yeah but the, if you're in the sun it feels amazing you know how like when we were in lake havasu if you were in the sun it was too scorchy yeah and you had to be in the shade here it's the different. It's yeah. like if you're in the sun, it feels amazing. We were going to go um, find a spot, then we'll send everybody the drop yeah, pin. They can just stay where they are so that not a bunch of people are running around and yeah, stuff. Yeah, that's totally fine. It's actually easier to it travel is. with just a couple people yeah. and a whole fucking then group. Like, like it's cause exasperating. It's, yeah, because it's like nine vehicles. <laughs> it's too much. I can't take no, it. No, uh-uh. Not unless we're going to have like a cruise director. <laughs> like, I'll be your cruise yeah, director like, today. Okay, you, you go first. Okay, you the, da, da, da. Okay, we're going to be here at this bathroom. specific time. Yeah, and everybody this. go pop. <laughs> Get your road snacks together. We're not stopping. Like, <laughs> Mama, look. There's grass. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> Come here. What is that? Mama? Look. Looks like caterpillars. It's just seed pods, though. Look, Mama. What is that? What is it? Is it a caterpillar going to get you? <laughs> oh, it's onion. What a beautiful tree. Yeah, it's definitely from the tree. That's so pretty. Look, and I even have a nice big cedar tree on my front porch. <laughs> Yummy to go food. Oh, yum. It smells delicious. It like, what is it? Anything for me? Well, you can tell the temperature is starting to drop pretty quickly as nightfall comes upon us. Let's see what we got. Ooh, dessert first. I got the um, Coca-Cola cake. French fries. That was mine. Chicken fried chicken. That was yours. 
another Coca-Cola cake. Uh, biscuits, yummy. <laughs> oh, here's mine. Meatloaf. Yum, with mac and cheese and corn. And then here's some sides. I think this is yours, right? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's the ice cream. I gotta put that in the refrigerator. Wait, look for the cake. Or the freezer. Oh, I forgot to cut out my uh, propane from when I was traveling. Okay, I'll be back in a second. Then here's your... What was that? Oh, the fried okra. Um... What? Did, did anybody order? Dumplings. Oh, the dumplings. I thought it was mashed, uh, mashed potatoes. Okay, and more whatever that is. Rice? I don't remember ordering rice. Okay, anyways. Well, go through this. Sue and Ed just picked up their food as well. They're in their rig eating. I invited Donnie over here since um, we're both alone. So, we're gonna enjoy our meal and then watch some TV. And then all came there. He has to run back inside and grab his uh, gravy for his country fried chicken. Because they didn't um, put the gravy in there. So, yep, I'm gonna enjoy this. This looks good. I love Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel! Yummy! Look at that. The meatloaf. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's time for Coca-Cola cake. Look, it's falling apart as we speak. <laughs> Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.